Hi there, I'm Jeff Gamut from the Mac Observer, and today I'm going to show you how you can cheaply and easily turn your brand new iPad Pro into a second display for your Mac laptop. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you're traveling or just hanging out at the coffee shop working and you really need a second display. This is an easy way to make that happen. Okay, so what you need first is to go to the App Store and download Duet. It's a $15.99 app. And I know a lot of people are thinking, wow, that's a lot of money to pay for an app. Well, sure, we've been conditioned to believe that apps should cost 99 cents or be free. But keep in mind that this $15.99 is getting you a second display that you can take with you pretty much anywhere you go go and it also doubles as an iPad. So that's a lot cheaper than uh, than if you had to go out and buy a portable display to take with you everywhere you went. Okay, so once you have downloaded the Duet app to your iPad, go and download the companion app for your Mac or for your Windows PC. It's free and uh, then once you've done that, launch the Mac app and then connect the Lightning to USB sync cable that came with your iPad to your computer. Okay, so now once you've done that, we need to connect the cable to our iPad. Hold on, let's make that happen. Okay, and then we need to launch the Duet app on our iPad. There we go. Once it connects, we now have two displays working in tandem, and there you go. You can see I already have iTunes sitting on my second display. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the Photos app and move it over here too, because that's going to make it a lot easier for me to work the rest of the day. With those photos out of the way, now I can hop back to my main screen where I can surf the web and, uh, and write articles, and then all the secondary stuff that I want to work with is tucked away on my iPad Pro. And there you go. That's all there is to turning your iPad Pro or your iPad Air into a second display for your Mac. I'm Jeff Gamut for the Mac Observer. Thanks for watching.